you got something there. That's yeah. good. Okay, side by side, perfect, says uh, Mika. Yeah. And we're starting <laughs> off right now. We're just taking deep inhale through your nose. You can close your eyes if you wish. Oi. Breathing in deep. And at any point in time, uh, Broken Unicorn, we of course are f going to fix you now that you're becoming a unicorn again. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But uh, um, at any point in time, if you have any questions, I'm here for you today, right? So feel free to ask questions if you have any. Oh, thank you. Good. I will. <laughs> Super. So take a deep, I will. A deep Come inhale. Come back with the glasses. Yeah, yeah. Feel free. Mm -hmm. Deep inhale into your belly, into your chest. And then just let the inhale out, like just release all the muscles and <sighs> exhale. And again, in your belly, into your chest. Feel the length from your hips to your head. And exhale, <sighs> let it out, relax. And again, as you inhale, feel how you're engaging your muscles, your belly into your chest. And exhale, let it out. Put your right hand onto your belly, your left hand onto your chest. And breathe in deep into your belly, into your chest. Feeling how the belly rises and the chest rises as you're breathing in and let it out again. Exhale. And one more time, one last time. And exhale. Release. Release this day, the whole day. You have been working a lot. Bring your hands up. Push out of your shoulders. And bring your thumb in. And then the thumb up, thumb in and thumb up. We're going to do some wrist exercises today. And then afterwards, as you wished, we are going to some um, lower back exercises. So a lot of lower back oh, exercises awesome. coming. Uh, I need to think a little bit about exactly where, where we're going. But um, yeah, let's go there. And uh, there's... Yeah, there's a lot of cool things coming, definitely. From there, bring your thumb, mm -hmm. rotate your thumb forward. Okay. Rotating your thumb forward, good job. And to the other side. It's a little bit hard for me to see you because, you know, my monitor is so far away, but you can't see, it's my <laughs> setup, you know, we're doing this the first time. Make a fist, it's all good, it's all good. I'm being your little bit. Yeah, no, 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 okay. it's all good. It's just <laughs> my problem, you know. <laughs> Moving your wrist up and down here. Good job. Making a fist, right? Move your wrist up and down. Good. I'm also tr like... Um, yeah, Wait, like that's good. That's good? Okay. I feel it. Crack, 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 crack. <laughs> yeah. I'm going up. <laughs> me too, me too. Uh, from there, open up your hand, bring your thumb in between your fist and grab around with your fingers. And again, maybe a little bit less, moving your wrist up and down here. How does that feel? Good. The red one is making cluck. Cluck. <laughs> Every time. Good. Yeah, be soft, you know, you don't need to push yourself too hard, but Really, if there's any yeah, maybe I was too hard. Yeah, if there's pain, <laughs> and then release. Shake your wrists out, shake your elbows, shake your shoulders. Oh, if people say hola. Hola, Mari Carmen, hola. Hi, great <laughs> <laughs> Hola, hola. <laughs> <laughs> My mother wanted to also do yoga. She's here. Ah, but wonderful. She's not here. Hi. She's at home. Ah, that's <laughs> wonderful. Hello. Shake your wrists, shake your elbows, shake your shoulders. And we're going to just quickly lean over to your right. We bring, bring one hand to the floor to your side and we're leaning over to the right. Keep your left sitting bone rooted to the floor. Mm -hmm. And then breathing out, changing out to the other, changing to the other side, breathing in, reaching to the other side. Ah, good job. One more time each side.
And yeah, one more time changing in your time, breathing in deep. And come back into the middle. Good. So uh, now I think we are already going to stand up to make it a little bit easier. You have a block, Oops. right? Because yeah, that I would, have. That would be super, super handy. Uh, everybody else who's joining in, if you have a block, that's also super, super good. It's not necessary, though. But as we're going to do also some back exercises, we're going to uh -huh. also need the block. Or uh, Let me click it. use the block. We don't need I it. need to steal your yoga block. <laughs> sure, sure. So let's slowly stand up, everybody. And first of all, we don't need to block, but we have it by our sides, right? And what we're going to do, I'm just standing here, so we also see a wonderful broken unicorn by our sides. We're going to do Tadasana. Tadasana is one of the first, first kind of small yoga poses. But uh, there's a lot of things to do in Tadasana. And I just we're just warming up a little bit. By the way, Broken Unicorn, how how is the weather at your place? I'm really sweating. It's so hot here. Well, yeah, it's super super warm. I was trying to do it with t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's it's good. It's very very hot. Good. And tomorrow I think will be even worse. Good. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really, really hot. So I need to get into the water somewhere or something. Yeah, good. We're doing Tadasana. This is basically just standing. But what we are doing is mm -hmm. we're pushing the feet apart, pushing the feet okay. apart. So just like we're standing here and pushing outside. Does that make sense? Like so. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. And then we're having the shin bones. Oh. The shin bones come a little bit together. Okay, your voice disappeared, but ah, now okay. it's there. That's good. Okay, feet okay. apart. So, so feet, feet are pressing. together? Yeah. Feet, sorry, you don't need to bend over. I just tried to explain it here. Ah, but okay. <laughs> feet, feet are going away from each other, right? You're pushing them apart. Uh -huh. Shin bones come together. Shin bones come together. So we're bringing the shin bones in. This is hard, you know, this is really hard. Uh -huh. We're engaging the kneecaps. So the knees are engaged and we're turning the thighs inward and back. And this maybe doesn't make sense right now, but keep, keep with me. Keep on going. Everybody's watching right now. It will make sense in a little bit. Okay. So what Wait, this means... Uh, I tell for my mom because that was difficult. Mama, pon los pies rectos y e int intenta estirar las piernas para afuera. Haciendo fuerza para afuera. Okay, okay. translate it. Thank you. <laughs> <And> <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> we have a um, translation into Spanish. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Good. Then we're turning the ties inward and back. So we're turning the ties inward and back. And this will make sense in a little bit. So like okay. inward and back. And then what's happening if we're doing this? It creates a rounding in your lower spine. I need to do it like this. So your lower spine, I'm overdoing it right now. Your lower spine uh -huh. gets really, really rounded if you're p doing that. And then you want to kind of go away from that by pulling in your belly button. You're drawing in your belly button a lot. And the rounding goes away again. From there, bring your shoulders to the back, shoulder blades to the back. Smile. You're doing good and <laughs> keeping all the things that we did. Oh good. Yeah. And then release. Just release, shake it out for a moment. And it's, you know, it's okay, a lot sir. right now for your head, right? It's too much maybe. But we're going again through it one more time. And this time we're going to use the block. So if you okay. have a block, take your block and we're going to put the block between our legs to, to explain it a little bit more. Exactly. Like this. Yeah, yeah, ex okay. Like this. Like this. That's good. And the same thing we're doing. The feet are pushing away from each other. Then the shin bones come together. The knees are engaged. And right now what we're doing here is we're pulling the block to the back. So if we're engaging our legs, 
We're pulling the block to the back. We're pushing the block to the back with the muscles. Does that make sense? I think I'm somehow doing it. <laughs> somehow? That's good. So what you should be feeling when you're pushing the block to the back is that a rounding in your back, of course. So the, the uh, arching yeah, in the back, of sure. course. If you're doing it, then an arch in the back occurs. And this is really, really something deep that you can learn also to care about your back. Also to have a good, good uh, back positioning in your lower back. Because we want to get this lower arch, you know, this healthy lower arch in your lower back. As you're saying, you're having back pain, right? We want mm -hmm. to really uh, get you to the, the knowledge of like, having this lower arch is a good thing but again like to a certain degree so what we're doing is we're pulling in the belly button as well Pull the belly kind of like engages inward and up bringing the shoulders to the back standing up tall and again focus on all the things that we engaged and this is Tadasana today for you does that make a little bit sense mm-hmm Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm doing exactly like you, but trying. Yeah, that's good. You know, <laughs> it's also like a repetition thing because this block and this turning the ties inward and back, this is really something um, specific and deep, you know. And it's not like learned from one day to the other, but if you're doing it again mm -hmm. and again, then you will learn it. Good. Let's come to the floor again. Let's come to the floor again and let's do some cat cow to get our our uh, back a little bit more warmed up. And from there, we're good job. Yeah, just take your time setting up everything. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> I need to exactly, and then start to arch up from your lower spine slowly, breathing in. And then chin to chest, rounding down. Breathing out here. That's what we want to do. And we're pushing our whole back up. Then breathing in again. You're arching up from your lower spine, slowly up. And at any point in time, if anything hurts you, unicorn, right? You don't need to do it. You can just tell me. And we are doing something else, right? It does in, not arching. hurt, it just, I don't know which one is this one, this, is the cow or the other one? Um, this is the cow one, the cat one is like okay. when the back is up, ah, right? Yeah. It's like, okay. <laughs> you know, the cat has like, there's a dog and the cat is like, <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> it's protecting, so right? So this one, it does not hurt the cow, but it feels like I cannot do the movement very fast. Yeah, I need to right. do it slow. Do it slow, yeah, exactly. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Good job, yeah. And, okay. and completely breathing out when you're in cat position. And then breathing in as you're coming into cow. And again, slowly from your lower spine, slowly wandering your vertebras up. And then again, the other side down. Good from your head slowly coming down. It's really about vertebra by vertebra, wirbel für wirbel in German, uh, going up and mm -hmm. down. Good. And from there, you can come back to sit over your heels. Sit over your heels quick. Take your time. Bring your hands together. And this is something that I always teach in my yoga lessons. We're pushing in through the mounts of the fingers here. So we bring the hands flat together and we push in through the mounts of the fingers. You can claw your fingers a little bit and we release again. Pushing in through the mounts of the fingers, clawing your fingers a little and release. And again, pushing in. You're going five times, really can push in, you know, you give there some weight. Really like, good. And release. I need. Can you do that? Does that make sense? Little? Yeah. Yeah. Good. I like it. Please. Push like away. I'm fighting with myself. Yeah, you're fighting with yourself. Exactly. And release. <laughs> Shake your wrists out. How do your wrists feel right now? Good. 
good at the moment. Warming. So, yeah, it's really... I, I'm already sweating and we basically haven't done that much, right? Bring your left hand to your right hand, um, right, yeah, just below your wrist and start to circle your right wrist. And you can do both sides, right? And really mm -hmm. be also soft. You don't need to overdo it. You can just do really mini, mini circles as well, you know? However it feels good for you. You need to honor your body, right? Good. And then also change the side, other side. And yeah, I'm excited to share a little bit more of like back practices with you. Some, some things we can do for the back. Shake your wrists out and interlace your hands again and circle your wrists really soft. Softly. At any point in time, if you sit, anybody who's joining in, if your sit starts to feel uncomfortable, you can change it a little bit or you can stand up if you like and then join us again. Make this your own practice, right? Make sure it feels How good to you. How can you do this one so fast? Oh. You can really, you know, you can... How can I do this one so fast? You can really be yeah. soft, you know? You can you kind of like just lay the fingers there, you know? You're not grabbing, you're not doing... But you're going here and you just rest your fingers there and then you're moving. Does that make sense? So you're ah, really okay. soft. So you're not... Not... But really <laughs> super soft. Super okay. soft, and then, then it's just like a little bit of practice, right? How does that feel for your wrist? Okay. Actually, better than what I was doing. Okay. I was, I don't know if I could show you, maybe another person does that. I was doing it, the movement, like this, maybe yeah. too, too strong. Yeah. And, but maybe it's also my, my wrist, my, my right wrist is fucked up. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. But a little bit slower it feels nice. Yeah. You're you're doing good. You're doing good. Right now check which thumb you have in front, right? Shake your wrists mm -hmm. out and bring your fingers again together, bring your other thumb in front and circle again. Same thing. Oh. But your other thumb is oh. in front. Okay. Just <laughs> the other thumb. And then you can also try to circle both directions. Good. Good. Release. Shake your wrists out. Shake your elbows. Shake your shoulders. I hope your mother also can join in and has a great time. You know? Yeah, That's she great. wrote. Ah, she also has the yoga blog. Good. Hola, muy bien, mamá. ¿Tú también tienes esto? Pues lo vamos a usar luego. <laughs> Déjalo ahí. <laughs> Good. We're bringing the right hand up. Right hand up, right thumb is pointing up, and then we turn the thumb outside. Fingers are pointing down, and we're grabbing with your hand slowly from below to your thumb. Exactly, to your thumb, oh. you're holding your thumb, and you're pushing out from your shoulders. Fingers are pointing down, exactly how you're doing it. You can spread your fingers as well if you like, and take a deep inhale. Your belly into your chest. Oh God, the wrist. And release. This is also for you. Should feel it in the thumb mount here. In this thumb. Ah, mount then I feel here. it good. It feels there <laughs> a lot. <laughs> oh, <wait. laughs> no. Yeah, no, no, it's good. Don't overdo it. It was good how you did it. And then change the side, other side as well. And your thumb up. Grab on from below again. So thumb up, turn it to the outside, fingers are pointing Rise out, from your grab grade. from below and push out from the shoulders. <laughs> Coral Hawk, so <laughs> we just got a subscriber. Thank you so much, Coral Hawk. Appreciate that. This is fun. Hi, Broken Unicorn and Marcel. Yeah, this is really fun, Coral Hawk. Them. If you like to do also so one of these private yoga lessons, feel free to ask me. We can do uh, make it happen. So and so I'm so grateful for a broken unicorn by the way. And then release again. Shake your wrists out. I mean I'm grateful. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> <got> here. <laughs> Learning. Thank you. Thank you. How are you doing, Coral Hawk? 
Good to have you. Shake your wrists, shake your elbows, shake your shoulders. Just shake it out. And we've got one more wonderful exercise I like to give you today for the wrists. And afterwards, we're going more with like the back, I think. Um, mm -hmm. So the exercise that I like to share is the following. We're bringing now the wrists together, but not interlacing the hands. And then we slowly start to turn. You keep the wrists together all the time, keeping the wrists together and we're turning and turning and turning, keeping the wrists all the time together. You can also open your, your fingers if you like, but we're turning around the wrists. I can, I can come a uh, little bit closer. Uh, okay. Whoop. Uh, so like this. Keeping the wrists together here. See that? Mm -hmm. Good. It's all about all about this. The wrist together. Like this. Be like Kame Kame. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Kame Hare Ha. <laughs> Good job. Good job. And then we're coming to shake up your wrists again. Again, you know these exercises they're small, but they're great. And um mm -hmm. We are now coming, uh, I need to quickly think about uh, what exercises for the back we're going to do. But we're f I think we're going quickly into downward facing dog, also because I quickly want to see your downward facing dog, how you're doing it. And again, uh, I also want to give everybody an input right now, because in downward facing dog, you could do the exact same thing with your block again. So bringing the block between your legs again, as we did before, and then we can go to downward facing dog. Do you know what's downward facing dog already? Or uh, no. No? <laughs> That's great. It's amazing. That's wonderful. I try to imagine it, but <laughs> That's so wonderful. Uh, broken unicorn. I love to teach you that. So downward facing dog is like the most basic yoga um, pose there is in uh, yoga. So um, what we're doing is we are bringing our hands forward on the mat. You bring the hands forward on the mat, we're spreading the fingers, we're pushing the mounts of the fingers into the floor, we're clawing the fingers, and then we're bringing our feet to the back, we're tucking the toes under, and then we're pushing our hips slowly up into the sky. Good. Oh, oh wait, I need to take the socks off. Yeah, we'll that's, that's fine. Take your time. Okay. That's fine. Take your time. Okay. So like this and then... Exactly. Yeah. can also do it without the block right now. Good. Wonderful. That looks amazing. How are you doing that? Good job. And from there you can take a deep... Uh, yeah, you can do it. You can, if you like to watch again one more time, I'm doing it. You can bend your knees as much as you need. And we oh, yeah. Bending knees is better. And we're keeping the shoulders up. So we're not, we're not letting our whole chest go down to the floor like I'm doing right now. But we're uh -huh. keeping our shoulders up like this. Creating one line from the hand to your hips. Pushing into okay. the mounts of the fingers as well. That's a lot of info, you know. And again, you know, this is, this is already advanced information, right? Most of the teachers, they only teach like, oh yeah, this is downward facing dog and so on. But you can do also like the thing that we did before, right? like, like turning the ties inward and back means we're pushing the block to the back again. This creates again more space in your lower back, right? Uh, kind of like an arch in your lower back. And that's wonderful t for you to work on, right? Because we have lower that's back difficult. issues. Huh? Good. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. You train. <laughs> Good. Wonderful. And then, whenever you're taking a deep inhale... No, no, it's good how you're doing it. Taking a deep inhale. Get long from your heart to your fingers. Get exactly how you're doing it. And then breathing out, keeping that length. Breathing in again, get long from the heart to the hips. Oi. 
Good job. And you know, for a first timer, you're doing amazing. And then slowly release and come out of it. Come down onto your knees. Exactly. And this is downward facing dog. And you're you're doing such an amazing job, uh, Broken Unicorn. But um, I think I, I did somehow that position before, but no idea how to do it properly and even less the name. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean uh, also like... You know, it's like playing with it. It's not like doing properly the thing, you know? It's m more like, oh yeah, experimenting, try trying it out. And it's also like when you're in downward facing dog, you can also walk, you know? You don't need to stand still. So you can make it a little bit easier if, you, if you're walking like this. It feels maybe a little bit better for, y for your heels and drawing your heels to the floor, right? This might feel good. Yeah, exactly how you're doing it. Wonderful. How does that feel for you? It feels like maybe I need more elasticity here. <laughs> no, it's, it's good. It's good. It's not about like where you, you know, just how it feels for you right now. But it's already good. Like if you're feeling, oh, wow, yeah, I'm working here, you know. As I'm walking here, something happens, you know. As we're, as we're doing this, something happens and you feel it. That's so wonderful, Broken Unicorn. So, so <laughs> great. Good. But uh, I just wanted to give you that little input, right? Of like, oh, this is downward facing dog. This is a little bit explained. But right now, uh, let's go somewhere else. And let's take a little bit more care of our back right now. Um, there are a lot of exercises we could do. And yeah, I know some. And there's one thing I want to tell you as well. Like, yeah, we're, we're going to need to do some stretches right now. Because why? Because okay. our <laughs> hamstrings are connected to our back. So if we, if we stretch our hamstrings, right? If we stretch our hamstrings, mm -hmm. our, our back feels better afterwards, you know? And um, that's why we're going to stretch our hamstrings a little bit today. And, um, yeah, I, I just think about where to start. Uh, because, you know, I know you're a very strong person. And for people, oh, that, thank you. Peop for people that are very strong, you know, stretching is harder. You know, if, if, if there's a woman, yeah. if you're going to yoga lesson, there's so many flexible people there. And if you are a little bit stronger, then it's like, wow, they are all doing these kind of things. And it's so hard for me. Why is it so hard for me? Because you're just a little bit more muscular, you know. And uh, mm -hmm. for, for that, I really know some great stretches. And let's just go over these and let's just see how you can do them. And then let's go from there. Okay. So let's awesome. bring our left leg forward. Left leg forward. The left leg is straight. Our right leg is bent. Maybe you have done this with me to, to the, to already one, one time. Right leg is oh, bent. Wow. And then from, from our body, we slowly hinge forward and find a stretch in the hamstring here. Does that make sense? And, you know, don't worry about it. Don't take your time going into it. Good. Finding a hamstring stretch here in the front front leg. It and needs to stretch here? You exactly, said? yes. Oh, okay, in then the good. It feels. Uh, what you want a to lot. do? Yeah. <laughs> Does it work? It feels good. <laughs> good, okay, that's great. What, what you want to do is you want to engage your front knee, right? And we. Uh -huh. We hinge at your hips. Hinging at the hips means that we're staying straight with your upper body, right? And we're going straight down. Boop. See that? Good. And then we're taking deep inhale. And exhale. Breathing in deep. Does it make sense for you? <laughs> yeah, but it's hard. <laughs> Exhale, one more deep inhale, and then we're changing. Good, release, and come up. We're changing the side, shake your legs out a little. Good. Oh, yeah. Good. And we're taking care, think about your back. We're doing this for the back right now. 
if, even if it doesn't make that much sense for you, because the hamstrings, so these these muscle, uh, the muscles here mm -hmm. are connected to your back, and if we are kind of loosen up the, these muscles a little bit, your back feel feels better afterwards. Okay, so, awesome. Good. Didn't know that. Again, other side, we're doing the same, go in your time. And again, work with your breath. So working with your breath. By the way, I'm talking a lot. If you have any questions at any point in time, interrupt me, right? Ask. Oh, good. It's good that you talk. You yeah. explain a lot. Okay. I follow. Okay. And working with your breath means that we are maybe I can explain that as well a little bit deeper in another position, but uh, it means that we're breathing in so deep that we can feel the stretch differently. So we're breathing in really, really deep, and then we, as we exhale, we re we kind of try to relax and maybe sink a little bit deeper, and then breathing in again, feel how your muscles are engaging as we're breathing in, right? And as we're breathing out, as we're exhaling, feel how you can relax your muscles a little bit more. And from here, release. Good job. Good job, Broken Unicorn. Oh. Shake your legs. Shake your wrist. Shake your whole body out a little bit. And <laughs> before we continue, we release all the tension in our body a little bit. So what I love to do is jump, uh, jumping out of your knees. So just bring your feet okay. wherever they feel comfortable and then start to jump out of your knees, releasing your shoulders and releasing your neck. Releasing your shoulders and releasing your neck completely. Feeling how your shoulders are jumping and feeling how your neck is jumping as we're jumping out of the knees. Releasing your whole day, all, all the things that have been happening throughout the day, releasing that. Good. And at any point in time, if it starts to hurt you, you know, you can come out of it. And from there, we intensify by jumping out of your heels jumping out of your heels really let your shoulders jump let your neck jump and from there if you like to intensify more you can jump out of the toes and reconnect with the toes and the heels to the floor releasing your shoulders and your neck a lot a lot letting your whole body jump and release smile how did that feel how does that feel is that fun or not that much I think you can move your head more than me. Ah, I yeah. cannot let my my neck be relaxed. It's like ah. a block, and I see that you yeah. move it more. Yeah, maybe but the next time, ne maybe next time we're doing a neck exercises together with you. Oh yeah, <laughs> good. Um, so um, I need to think if you, yeah we have one more one more position to to kind of like strengthen our back a little bit oh many positions okay. by the way yeah uh first oh, of all let's, let's do ytwa <laughs> it's a little <laughs> bit we're we're going to sweat a little bit we're going to do two rotations of that it's good and i mean i'm already super sweaty i'm basically never as sweaty as as i'm right now but it's just so hot right yeah today it's really really hot good so just come into a wonderful stance and from there we are push our butt to the back bring your hands over your head we're coming into a chair position exactly and we're keeping the knees over your heels oh just approximately you see how i'm doing you're doing good and again see oh we, we have a rate <laughs> No, no. More people. People, yeah. we have a, a <laughs> yoga lesson today with uh, ah, Master Group. Hello. You can see it here. Oh, whatever. You see it <laughs> in the screen, you know. <laughs> hello, everybody. So, yeah, you can join us. 
Hello, everybody. Thank Hope you you're follow. doing good. Oh, yeah, thank you wow, for the follow. Wow, such a big raid. Yeah, well, you good. can see me doing the, the frog or also do it at home. So I suggest you do it at home. It feels good. This is, <laughs> this is chair position right now. So again, think about turning the ties inward and back. Like the, oh. the pushing the block mm -hmm. to the back. Do you remember that? I forgot it. I, I, I mean, I remember, but I didn't do it. It's all right. Let me do it. No, it's, you know, it's hard. And this is it's why... It's thing. <laughs> this is Y position right now. So we're making the letter Y. You see that? And now we're going mm -hmm. into T position. We're having the shoulder blades on the back together. So the shoulder blades on the back. And then we bring the hands together into a W position. So the letter W. From there, bring the hands slowly into an A position. The shoulder blades are on the back together and we keep the knees over your heels as good as you can. Now, breathing in deep. Do you feel a little bit of burning already or not? A lot. A lot? Okay, then bring your hands <laughs> forward and up. Bring your hands up. Breathing in deep. And release your arms. Shake your wrists out. Shake your legs. Yeah, welcome everybody. And you, of course, you can talk to your wonderful viewers. I will do later all the push-ups for the follow. <laughs> I will do the push-ups. I don't forget. I hear. <laughs> That's good. But right now we are focused. May maybe maybe I join in for the push-ups too, uh, if I may. <laughs> so. <laughs> good. Right now, bring your hands forward. One more time. We're going to this, through this four positions together. So Y position. Sorry, but you had, you had the face. <laughs> In your face, you had that overlay of another face, and it was kind of like funny. <laughs> yeah, I just saw it as well. Yeah. Bring your hands up. Get long from your hips to your head again, right? Turning your thighs inward and back. Then we're coming into a T position. Do you like T, broken unicorn? I like all the letters. You, you <laughs> like all what? All the letters. Ah, you all mean the letters. tea, no, tea I mean t drinking? Tea to drink. drink? Tea. <laughs> oh, also, also, of course. Okay, I'm go right, a little not bit now deeper. because it's too hot right now, but. Yeah, In because winter, you like course. tea, you can go a little bit deeper. <laughs> and then coming to W, bring your arms into a W, bring your shoulder blades onto the back together. Good job. And then bring your arms into an A position. And then slowly come up again. Good job. Stretch up, breathing in deep. Good. So what we're doing is like we're, we're uh, strengthening our back muscles a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. And we're also stretching our legs in between, in, kind of like in between, so to get the boss, best of both worlds, both worlds for you today, right? So what we're doing is we're spreading our legs to the short end of your mat. We are measuring the distance, the wrists are over your ankles approximately. So with the hands we are measuring the distance, right? The wrists are over mm -hmm. the ankles. And then from there, does that make sense? Yeah. We push our mm -hmm. butt to the back and we lean forward. Again, what we are doing with a straight back, right? We are coming forward and down with a straight back not rounding and if you're up here that's fine you can release your arms you can release your arms the arms are there to measure the distance the arms are oh. there to measure the distance and check if your wrist is over your ankle kind of like just the distance of that so. mm -hmm. okay that's it's good there. and then you can hinge at your hips and lean forward good Hinge at your hips and lean forward and keep your thighs engaged, keep your knees engaged. 
and we are just stretching our legs here a little bit more. How does that feel for you, Broken Unicorn? Is it hard? For my back a little bit, I'm, I'm kind of doing strength with my back, which okay. is awesome also, but just telling you. Yeah. I'm sorry, can you repeat? <laughs> yeah, it, it feels hard for my back. For your back, like okay. Back engage your belly more. Can you engage your belly more? And come up mm -hmm. a little bit more. Does it feel better if you come further up? How does it feel when you're engaging your belly? It feels good. It didn't feel bad before. It just feels that my back is doing effort. Yeah. Which does is also good. Do you feel like you're doing a lot of work in your back right now? Yeah. Yeah, okay. That's good. Mm -hmm. And from there, slowly, slowly push your butt more out and round your back. Think about cat position right now. Remember the cat position right now. Right? Yeah. Rounding uh -huh. your whole back. Your whole back is rounding right now. Breathing in deep and out. Just see wherever you can reach on the floor. Good job. Wonderful. And from there, we quickly walk over to your right toes, saying hello to your right toes. How far you can go. Breathing in deep. You're doing such a gra great job, Broken Unicorn. I'm, I'm so super happy and excited to do this with you. It's so amazing. <laughs> yeah, we wanted to do this long ago already. Yeah. So it's, it, I'm also happy we do it. Cool. We need to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Good. Then, um, yeah, we definitely will. Um, walk over to your left toes and say hello to your left toes. And then come back into the middle. Bend your knees a little bit. Bring one hand up to your thigh. And then bring your other hand up to your thigh and start walking left, right, left. Good. Yeah, exactly. Left, right, left in. Good job. Until we're in a beautiful standing position. Good. So, um, we're going with the next strengthening thing. I hope that's all right with you. We're going more for one more strengthening and then we're going to do some more stretching and then we're calling it a day. So we're doing uh, everything else to relax a little bit. But right now we're coming again to the floor one more time and we're going to, to uh, do <laughs> come into all fours right now. We need to be able to see you a little bit. My microphone is in the way here. Put that away. Good. Coming into all fours here again. And what we are doing is we're coming into a tabletop. Do you know tabletop? So no. This, so <laughs> I don't know any. <laughs> yeah, basically this is just tabletop. All fours. This is already like tabletop. But what you want to oh, do? Okay. Think about. You want to balance on the back of your forehead, for, uh, no, on the back of your back, <laughs> on the back of your head, you want to balance uh -huh. a, a glass or balance anything. Okay. Think about that. And from there, mm -hmm. we are lifting our right hand up to the front and the left leg to the back. And we are engaging our belly here and trying to keep that as stable as possible, thinking about the glass on our back head. Good. How does that feel? I hey. like this one. You like this one? Yeah, I mean, the thing you say with the neck. Yeah. I didn't feel it before, so I didn't think about doing that position before, and it feels kind of nice. Yeah. Exactly, tucking the chin in a little bit and pushing your head a little bit up. And from there you can pull in the elbow and the knee, pulling it in. Elbow and knee pulling in. And then you can open up again. Bring your hand and your leg up again and arching up. You know, arching up, opening like a flower. Can you see that? Engage your belly a little bit. And then breathing out, pulling together, elbow and knee together, breathing out and breathing in, arching up again. 
breathing out, elbow and knee together, and you can do this in your time. We go three more times. Good, and release, coming down. How does that feel? Good. Ooh. We have another side to do. Again, we are we are working on our belly and back muscles a little bit mm -hmm. here, you know, and to strengthen your back muscles. But also, we're doing a little bit more stretching afterwards. Shall we go again? Are you ready already? Yeah. Good. Okay, let's, let's go. Let's do the other leg. Let's do the other side. So again, come into this position. Think about balancing, right? Mm -hmm. And just let your breath flow deep into your belly, your chest. And then elbow to knee together. As we are pulling the elbow and the knee together, we want to breathe out. And then breathing in, arching up. If you're lifting your head, uh, sorry, lifting your leg and your arm up. And then breathing out, elbow and knee together again. Go in your time. There's also a lot of balancing happening here, right? Yeah. All right. Mamá, por si estás haciéndolo, eh, inspira aquí y saca el aire aquí. Good. I was telling my mom where, how to breathe in this one because she always has oh, good. like difficulties to know where to breathe. <laughs> And you explain it here, so. Good. One more time up, breathing in deep. And breathing out together. And release, come down. Good. Shake your arms out, shake your wrists out, you know, taking care of the wrist. Always, if I'm explaining something, mm -hmm. feel free to take care of your wrists, right? Good. Wow, I'm so sweaty, it's so hot today. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Even really my glasses are falling down. <laughs> oh. It's it's like the hottest day so far in in the in the year. So I'm completely sweating the whole place. Well, it's, it's 33 all, yeah. degrees here. How much? 33. 33. Right now. We uh, yeah, I can maybe see it right now. Before it was 31 at my place, but 33. Yeah, okay, so you got me there. Where where are you located? In Switzerland, in Argau. Ah. Okay, so yeah, we are not that far away yeah we're not that I'm far in away. Germany yeah. yeah good we're coming so yeah, to the you front have the same temperature coming to the front of our mat and oh we're God. lying back on your back right now and from here we're taking good care of our our um, hamstrings one more time so the uh -huh. first first thing we're going to do is you're pulling your right leg in and you can grab around your shin bone or around your thigh and you just pull in here keeping your left ankle on the floor your hips on the floor and your shoulders on the floor breathing in deep and breathing out and just work with your breath you know And maybe when you're breathing out, you can pull in a little bit more. But again, focus on keeping your hips on the floor. Hips on the floor here, hips on the floor, ankle on the floor, and shoulders also on the floor, if that's possible for you. And then release, change around, other leg, bring your other leg up, and do the same there. Work with your breath again.
and then release your leg down, keeping your ankle close to our bum. Bring your other leg up and bring your ankle over your knee. Wow, it's so sweaty, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like I'm, I'm laying here in just sweat and the sweat my, makes funny noises uh, just behind me, you know. I know which noises do you mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. And from there, grab around, grab around, oh God. <laughs> Grab around your standing leg here. Grab around your standing tie and pull in. Wait, I need that. A towel because I'm doing noises with the floor. <laughs> yeah, me <Okay>. too. <laughs> <laughs> you know the problem. We have the same problem. <laughs> so grab around your standing leg and pull in. You can push out with your elbow on your tie. Do you know what I mean? I think so, yeah. Oh, Good. oh I like it. <laughs> awesome. I know what you mean. Good. From there, again, work with your breath, breathing in deep. And breathing out. Again, why are we doing this? This really releases a lot of tension in your lower spine and um, it helps like to just create a little bit more space in your lower spine and um, yeah makes the back pain maybe go away a little bit then release and change the side grab around your other standing leg and pull in have your shoulders connected on the floor push out with your other elbow on your tie. Have your hips connected with the floor and your shoulders connected on the floor. And breathe deep. One more deep inhale. And exhale, release. Good job. Good. We're changing it up. If you need to use a belt or something, you can use that. But we're bringing our right leg right now up and we're grabbing around your thigh with your arms. I like to do it like this. Does that work for you? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I mean, yeah, yeah. That's first good. continue and then I, I will see. <laughs> okay, yeah. And have Not more, but like that it works. Good, okay. That's good. Having your shoulders again connected on the floor, uh, your ankle connected to the floor, your hips connected, and then you can push your foot up to the, kind of like putting the toes up to the ceiling, pointing your toes up to the ceiling. Yeah, now I've got it. And then drawing the toes mm -hmm. down, and then the foot down. And toes up, and foot up. Toes down, and foot down. Does that make sense? I'm sorry, toes. Yeah. Good. Wait um, a I, second. I'm waiting for you. That's fine. No. So okay. my man can see what I do with the foot. Good. Pointing <laughs> the toes up, then drawing the toes down, then the foot down. Then toes up, foot up, toes down, foot down. Toes up, foot up. These are two movements. Do you see that? Toes down. Mm -hmm. Then foot down, toes up, and foot up. Good. It's too much. How does that feel for you? Good? I think I'm about to have a cramp. Oh, oh. <laughs> no, they're kidding. Yeah, then go, then go slow and try to breathe deep. And from there, if you like to go further, but probably if you get a cramp, then release. Slowly, softly, be careful with you, you know? At any point in time, if there's anything that really disturbs you in your practice, feel free to come out and tell me. And then we're changing the side as well. Bring your other leg up, grab around. And again, same thing here. Toes up, foot up, toes down, foot down. Where did you feel like getting a cramp? In your leg or where? 
In your foot? In the in between the toes and the foot? Yeah. In there? Okay. Like it's not used to do much movements. Okay. But it, it does not feel dangerous. It does feel like uh, it's about to do things. Okay. That's good. That's then let's good. bring there some movement, you know, and and let's see what's happening and then of course, if it's too much, then go out again, as you just did. That's so so beautiful that you can listen to your body and then decide, okay, that's enough right now. <laughs> and then slowly release your leg down again. And um, we're just doing some windshield wipers to finish up to off today. So bring your arms by your sides. Elbows are by your shoulders. Fingers are pointing up. Then bringing your elbows up. Uh, sorry, bringing your knees up. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> bringing your knees up and release your knees to the right and then to the left. Windshield wipers and let one knee lead the way. One knee leads the way when we're going to the right. Exactly. Try to bring both knees and lie them to one side and then bring them both. Yeah, exactly. Now you're doing it. Super great. How does that feel for you? Good. Good. I actually don't do this exercise specifically, but something like knocking your butt. Yeah. <laughs> like here. Exactly. It is somehow the same, but not that cute as this movement. <laughs> exactly. We want to relax right now, you know? We want to um, slowly come into Shavasana in one moment. Shavasana is the final relaxation pose and yeah, let's go into that and then let's come back out of it. So extend your legs slowly, bring your arms by your sides, feet are facing away from each other, arms are pointing up to the sky, tucking your chin in and from there close your eyes. Could you follow already? Exactly. Feet are facing away from each other, palms are pointing up towards the sky. Tuck your chin in a little bit and close your eyes. And let go of everything right now. Let go of everything for about a minute. And then I will get you back to your body. Okay. Deepening your breath. If you like to translate for your mother, you may may do that right now. When I say my words, you can translate for your mother if you like. But you don't need to, as you like. It, it's okay. I think she's, she's okay. telling me by WhatsApp she's doing fine. Okay. But a person followed right now and I got scared. <laughs> oh, no. Thank you. I will do the push-up for you in a bit. <laughs> Stay there. We're doing yoga now. <laughs> okay. <we're laughs> Thank you. <laughs> We're not completely finished uh, right now. You went <laughs> out there too fast right now. So you need to oh, yeah. down one more time, you Broken Unicorn. We need to finish up. You know what? What? I, I think for a lot of people that is super nervous like me, it, it was so difficult to stay there. <laughs> I even felt my, my eyebrows like 
intention, you know. But and you it's just like, lie there. I'm just and laying down. Thing. Yeah, just yeah. laying down. I was like, like this. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> it's super difficult, you know. It's, it's super so stupid. Difficult. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you know, um, we're we're finishing. Usually, I finish up uh, like getting you out of there slowly now uh, we kind of like mm -hmm. interrupted but again right now find a wonderful sit sit up on something you know uh, make sure it feels I good take the yoga thingy yeah exactly exactly that's it's wonderful and uh, from there one more ca time connect to your breath today okay and everybody if you're still lying down come to a wonderful sit right now together with us and we're finishing this up sitting today take a deep inhale into your belly into your chest and exhale everybody arrives in the sitting position and take again a deep inhale nurturing your whole being today with this big big breath that's coming the biggest one that you took in today and as you're exhaling, feel how the gravity carries you, holds you, takes care of you. And from there, bring your hands in front of your heart together. Honoring your physical practice today, bow your head in front of your heart. Everybody who has been joining in, have a wonderful rest of the day, have a wonderful night. Wherever you are in the world, namaste. Release your hands and open your eyes and check in with yourself. How did this yoga practice feel for you today? <laughs> and uh, thank you so much, everybody who joined in. Uh, and also thank you so much, Broken Unicorn. Thank you. <laughs> um, it was really nice. It was really nice. I think I need more time of more, more yoga sessions. No, that's I will right. start doing. We, we can do that. I always cannot stay without doing much things i know you you need to like do the movements and feel the movements and everything but it's like 